This podcast has been brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Help us spread the light of prophetic guidance to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Make a small donation at seekersguidance.org forward slash donate. For as little as $10 a month, you can help people find life-changing guidance. I haven't been able to get married. Getting older and older, but, but I haven't been able to get married. And what do I do? Now, that's a general question because you may need to consult about the specifics of your circumstance. However, what we can say with confidence is that um, the sunnah of seeking anything is to do two things. The first is to take the best possible means. And number two, and number two is to place your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But one does both things. Take the best possible means. And number two, put your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So make a plan. Taking the best possible means is to make a plan. That be clear of what kind of person you're looking to get married, which is to try to marry someone of religious concern, of good character, you know, with the relevant elements of suitability between you, without complicating things unnecessarily in that regard. Um, with that, look to See how you can get married. And there are various options. Don't close the door that I will only marry someone that I get to know. Because let's say you don't interact with a lot of religious Muslims in your work, in your social circles, given your circumstances. So keep your options open as to how you look to get married. Um, the... So for some people, the root of family is an effective means. You don't have to necessarily agree to whomever your parents suggest, but keep that as a potential root. Right? Um, some of us, raised as we are with the sense of individualism, I do it myself, we disadvantage ourselves because we don't avail ourselves of opportunities that present themselves, one of which being the root of our parents. Um, there's also various matrimonial services that some of which are better than others. Look at what matrimonial services are out there that are available for Muslims to find, you know, for a Muslim to find a suitable spouse. And, and a sign of a good matrimonial service is that it doesn't just focus on externalities. It doesn't just focus on appearance and professional criteria and you know just superficial things, but looks at those criteria that are important considerations religiously of you know religious concern, of character, of life priorities, so that's another option. Another in communities, and that's why communities are mercy. Um, sometimes reaching out to various leaders in one's community can also be helpful. Reaching out to married couples can be helpful. Sometimes it's also worth considering people in your social circles. That who in your social circles would be a good potential. Um, spouse with discretion and with tact and not acting in shady ways right? that that um, can also be sometimes we overlook people who are right in front of us that would be that would appear to be suitable so each of these areas take the means also it helps to have mentors people you turn to and ask for advice and guidance that I am 
looking to get married, help me in this journey. And you have to follow up with them. And sometimes it can be difficult, but our communities are, you know, in, you know, people ha are scattered and so on, but keep asking, right? keep asking. You know, because sometimes, you know, those people may have, maybe juggling many concerns and they may not get back to you as as quickly as you would have wanted, etc. But take the means with excellence because that is the sunnah. Keep taking the means. Keep reminding them. Um, and don't think you're being a burden. You're actually helping them help you. With that, with that, cultivate your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Right? How? Keep asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to facilitate the means. Right? Make plentiful dua after every prayer with certitude in his answer. With certitude in his answer. But Allah's answer will come in the time and in the way that Allah deems best, not in the way that you necessarily wish for. And also, in some situations, Allah may not facilitate for you to get married. Your dua is answered, but in the hereafter. And then make the most of your time, right? Make the most of your time. Busy yourself with the good, and the good creates momentum for the good. Some of the greatest Scholars and righteous never got married. I have a book actually it's right here. Don't ask me. I'm married, so don't, don't ask me. Because you don't only read for yourself, but also you know, it, there, it's a book by uh, one of the great hadith scholars of the 20th century, Sheikh Abdul Fattah Abu Hudda. It's called Al Ulama Al Uzab, the single scholars, Al Ladina Atharul Ilm Al Zawaj, who preferred knowledge over getting married. And there are some who did not find the facilitation to get married. They dedicated themselves to serving others so selflessly and so directedly that despite recognizing and affirming the merits of marriage, they remained single. And those scholars include Imam al-Nawawi, never married, Imam al-Zamakhshari, Ibn Taymiyyah, um, and many others, uh, Sheikh Suleiman al-Jamal, many others. Right? He lists over over 40 such major scholars who, who never married. And that's you know, because we seek the pathways are, of good are many, and Allah facilitates different pathways for different people. And that's just from the wisdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his creation. So we should recognize that reality. That Allah facilitates different things for different people. In different ways. Fa... So, you know, take those means. It helps to have teachers that you take as mentors and you keep connecting with them as well. Okay? So, that's a little of what we can advise the person who's looking to get married and keep in mind the promise of Allah SWT in the Quran. Woman yatawakkal ala Allahi fa huwa hasbu. Right? And whoever places their trust in Allah, Allah is their sufficiency. Thank you for listening. This podcast was brought to you by Seekers Guidance, the global Islamic seminary. Visit seekersguidance.org to access reliable Islamic knowledge taught by qualified teachers. We offer a wide range of courses, podcasts, articles, and a world-class answer service. Support us in spreading free, reliable Islamic knowledge to millions around the world by becoming a monthly supporter. Visit seekersguidance.org forward slash donate and make a small monthly commitment today. Our beloved prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said, whoever guides someone to goodness will have a similar reward. So don't forget to share this podcast and spread prophetic guidance.